Hello internet, scene change again. My roommate's in my room and I actually had to do a lot of searching to find a room to myself to film this because I'm not comfortable enough to film in front of people. There's this weird phenomenon at college where people actually remember that the library and study lounges exist during finals week, which just leaves those of us who have been using the study lounges in the library all year long feeling annoyed. I actually had someone ask me if I knew that there was a third floor of the library. Yes, I knew there was a third floor of the library. It's where I spend every Saturday. Anyway, last night I went to a cookie baking and movie watching party, which was a ton of fun. We made sugar cookies and we decorated them and then we watched Elf and then we watched the movie The Fall, which was really cool. It was a lot different than Elf because Elf is a very feel good movie and it The Fall really makes you think. It's set in Los Angeles and it said it was set some time. Uh, but based on their dress and the fact that they showed a silent movie, it kind of gave me an idea about when it was. It was actually filmed in 18 different countries, and it was really pretty. Like, it was very artistic. It's about this little five-year-old girl who's in the hospital because she fell and broke her arm. She's being told a story by a guy who fell and broke his spine, so we can't walk anymore. The story's very interesting in the fact that it incorporates real people from their time into the story, but not necessarily playing the same roles. He kind of, like idealizes who he wants to be in the main person in the story. It's kind of like a Zorro character. And then he has the little girl's nurse play his love interest, even though he never met her. And then he has the guy who delivers ice be a mystic, even though that wasn't really who he was in real life. And it's just really, really cool. So at one point in the story, they're about to storm a castle, and one of the characters says something to the effect of, we can't just barge in there, it'll be suicide. And the little girl asks, what suicide? And that really got me thinking. At what age do we learn about the words suicide and murder and what they mean? It really just got to me that this girl was so innocent and pure that she didn't even know what suicide meant. My best guess is that I learned these words from the news. I actually called my mom this afternoon and asked her when she thought I learned what the word suicide meant, and she had no idea. I'm guessing the news just because I don't know about how much violent stuff I was watching as a kid, but it quite possibly could have come from a television show or a movie or a book I read. It just got to me thinking about when we start teaching these things to our children. I mean, these are realities of the world. We can't necessarily hide them from our children. It just really got me thinking, and I don't really know if there's a right answer about when to teach our children these things or how we teach our children these things. It's just something to think about. So I really did like this movie, and if you like movies that kind of mess with your mind, please go watch it. It was really good. Other than science fiction movies, these would probably be my favorite kind of movies, the movies that, like, make you think more and they aren't just pure feel-good movies so if you have any good suggestions please leave them in the comments thank you for watching you're awesome see you next time